Hello. Today we're talking about using IAM and other access control tips for securely building agents. Agents are powerful because we can give them tools to interact with external systems like databases and APIs. This video will cover the high level layered approach to securing them. First, we need to control who can manage and interact with the agent itself. This is handled using Identity and Access Management, or IAM. You use specific roles to define permissions. The Vertex AI user role allows an identity to interact with the agent, which you would grant to your developers using the agent. The Vertex AI admin role provides full control to configure the agent, which should be reserved for developers building the agent. Separating these roles is the first step in applying the principle of least privilege. But you can get even more specific. For example, you can grant a developer the Vertex AI admin role so it only applies to a single specific agent. This is done using IAM conditions. The policy essentially says, you can be an admin, but only for the agent named order status agent. This is a powerful way to enforce least privilege for developers and service accounts, ensuring they can only manage the specific agents they're responsible for. Now for securing how your agents interact with other systems. The core security principle is to isolate the agent from managing credentials and direct data access. You should never give an agent's service account broad permissions. Instead, the agent should use tools that call a secure intermediary, like a cloud function or a dedicated backend service. This intermediary is then responsible for data access control. This pattern applies to two common use cases. First, when accessing user-specific data, the agent's view of the tool is very simple. It may only know that it needs to provide a parameter, like a user session ID. All of the critical security logic is handled entirely within the tool's code, completely invisible to the agent. That tool's code is responsible for taking the session ID, looking up and retrieving an authentication token, and then using that token to fetch only that specific user's data. For a detailed example on how to build that session-based authentication and authorization, check out the blog and video linked in the description. Beyond session IDs, there are many cases where tools make calls to third-party APIs that require an API key so that the agent can use the tool to perform an action, like looking up flight information. The agent should have no direct management of the API key. Behind the scenes, the tool's code is responsible for making a separate call to a service like Secret Manager to fetch the needed API key at the moment it makes a call to the API. We cover exactly how to do this in our video on securing API keys with Secret Manager, linked below. Following this pattern, the agent, the tools, and the model do not share secrets. The agent does not handle API keys or user auth tokens, and the model doesn't get exposed to them either. The final layer is to protect the data flowing through the conversation. Users might enter sensitive information in a prompt, or a tool might return it. In some scenarios, a malicious user may even try to extract secrets such as API keys or session information using prompt injection. Even following good practices, you may find a reason to have this filtering as a final layer, especially if your agent is interacting with other external agents. As an added security measure, you can use services like Model Armor with sensitive data protection to inspect and redact sensitive information from PII to API keys and other credentials. Our video on Model Armor goes into much more detail on this, and you can find a link below. So to properly secure your agent, remember these three layers. First, use IAM to control who can manage and use the agent. Second, isolate the agent by building secure tools that handle their own authentication and credential management. Third, use services like Model Armor to inspect the conversational data for potential leaks. By building on this framework, you can create powerful agents that interact with your systems safely and securely. Thanks for watching.